everyone. This is going to be the tarot forecast for the sign of Taurus for the month of July 2022. So I'm going to pull out a couple of cards and I'm going to see what are the messages for you Taurus. Now I'm open to taking bookings right now for personal readings. So if you want to drop me a message uh, to get uh, like a birth chart analysis done or let's say a relationship compatibility, for example, a synastry chart reading, or if you want to get um, uh, a tarot card reading done, you can contact me on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box uh, under this video. And you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So Taurus, let's look at the cards we have for you. The first card that I'm getting is the Justice card in reverse. The second is Temperance. The third is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The next one is Nine of Pentacles in the upright position. Next is High Priestess in the reversal. We have the Hierophant, which is you. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so Taurus, I feel like a lot of you are really coming into your own this season. And the reason I say this is because you came up in your own reading. The Hierophant is you, basically. Especially when we combine it with the Seven of Pentacles, which is money energy, which is saving, investment, budgeting, uh, multiplying your assets, all second house stuff, which is very you, Taurus. These are the things that you're focusing on in the month of July. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with Uranus and Taurus being in the moment. And um, uh, just, you know, a lot of planetary energies that we had going on in Taurus, I think that really changed your perspective towards a lot of things. It made you focus more on the financial aspects because I think for a long time, there may have been a fear around money. Or they may, there may have been a fear around what if it's not enough. Like Taurus has this secret fear of things never being enough. Like a bottomless pit. And a lot of it has to do with insecurity within our own selves. And no shade here, I'm a Taurus moon, so I completely get that. But a lot of the times, uh, people with strong Taurus energy, there can be this fear around starvation you know that mentality of if the pantry is not well stocked what if there's famine tomorrow there's always this fear behind you know the back of taurus's mind that what if i don't have enough tomorrow and so that's the reason why they look for security in the material realm not because they're materialistic that's where a lot of people misrepresent Taurus saying that they are materialistic not that there's anything wrong with being materialistic but the reason Taurus focuses so much on these things is because their emotional security and sense of comfort comes from these things because it rules the second house which is very much about the material realm and so maybe in the past a lot of you had that fear around money and you know, things not being enough or what if I run out, that kind of fear. And so this month, in the month of July, you are actually doing something about it. You know, rather than sitting in that fear-based energy, which really doesn't do much, right? Like you're just sitting and procrastinating. So you're deciding to do something about it. So you're taking action. You're taking action. And the seven of pentacles, which really came up in this reading, it does signify a wait, a waiting period, like sort of waiting for the harvest to happen, waiting for the seeds to, you know, the, the crop to ripen or however you want to want to paint it. But it's very much about that um, waiting for things to manifest. And... Right now, your current energy, Taurus, is very, very self-sufficient. Nine of Pentacles. Um, so this is irrespective of how materially abundant you are. But this is that sense of emotional fulfillment that you have going on right now for you, Taurus. A lot of you in the month of July are in this state of 
feeling very full, feeling very satiated with your life, with your life choices, the way you've arrived, the way you've lived your life. I think you've cleared out a lot of the blockages that you had within you. And this has led to this energy of self-sufficiency and self-containment. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't need anybody or, you know, you have it all going on for you. But it just means that you're very happy in the current moment. And whatever you need to lead a comfortable life, mentally or emotionally, you feel that contentment. Now, whether that's a reality in, in the physical sense or the, you know, the three-dimensional reality, that's a different area. But in your mind and mentally and emotionally, you feel self-sufficient. You feel confident about your money and just feeling secure. I think you've, you've started to feel more secure about yourself. Um, it's still not time for the harvest yet because the wheel of fortune is coming up as a reversal and that tells me that you've done the work Taurus or you're still doing the work but the material abundance is going to show up a little bit later not right now uh, this is kind of a gestational period where you'll have to wait things out but when it does come through the wheel of fortune is very very benefic it's very um fortunate energy so when you do receive those blessings it's going to come to you many fold so that's something to remember Taurus and I'm getting the temperance card here now this is Sagittarius energy but I feel like this is your energy right now Taurus in the month of July where you are opening up your heart center or your heart chakra uh, in a lot of ways and your crown chakra and third eye are also opening what I mean by that is you're becoming more compassionate towards people around you. You are operating in this philosophy of gratitude, uh, this uh, emotion of gratitude every day, um, where you learn to appreciate the blessings that you have going on for you already. And you're also seeing through a lot of things in your life. For example, things that may have mattered to you before, or things that may have seemed extremely important to you before don't seem that important anymore. Or things that weren't important to you before are now taking precedence in your life. So it can it can be flipped either way. Um, temperance is also about hope. Because there is the sun at the end. So patience pays off. Temperance is very much about patience. It's about doing the mundane tasks, you know, staying the middle ground, you know, following the middle path, as Buddha said, right? It's about not doing anything um, in too much of an extreme. It's basically uh, doing everything with moderation. And that is really the key to um, receiving the abundance that you're really looking for. Now, abundance comes in many different forms. It doesn't always have to be material. It can be, you know, having family, having close friends, having people you love next to you. You know, it's having a nice home. You know, there's so many ways to interpret abundance. But whatever your definition of abundance is, it's coming to you very soon. Now, I did get the justice card and that came up as a reversal. The justice in the upright position is very much about equality. It's the sign of Libra. It rules fairness and equality. It's very much about um, that sense of righteousness that, you know, um, it either is or it isn't. There's no middle ground here, you know. So there's that element about the justice card. Uh, it's also very precise because she has the sword in her hand and she is going to cut down anybody who doesn't speak the truth or who isn't about equality and justice. So, as they say, the law punishes, you know, the sinner and rewards the ones who do good, you know. So it's, it's about that. It's that sense of righteousness and doing what's right doing what's just, 
in the world. Uh, but because this came up as a reversal, this quite literally could, if this was a romantic context, then it could have been a Libra person near, in your life in the recent past. It doesn't have to be a Libra sun. It could have been a Libra moon rising or just a bunch of planets in Libra or just somebody who embodies that energy, right? Um, this could have been a person in your past and maybe both of you didn't get along very well. Um, maybe your, opi your opinions clashed with each other. Um, but I feel like this person is not a part of your life in, in the present energy. Um, or it could also mean that there was a situation in your, in your life where you felt deeply wronged where you felt like things did not go as you had planned and you felt kind of betrayed or you like i said you felt very wronged by something or someone and uh, that may have actually what i'm intuitively getting is this betrayal or failure whatever happened i feel like that was um, the transforming factor that helped you focus more on your money matters uh, so that may have been the catalyst to make you focus more on your money, your finances, your financial independence or, you know, abundance or all of that stuff. Um, now, the Hierophant also came up in this reading. The Hierophant is your, your energy, basically, Taurus. And this is about convention. This is about um, institutes of higher learning. This is about tradition. This is about following the rules that society places. Uh, because rules are there for a reason and they shouldn't be questioned. You know, it's very much about tradition and being conservative, being uh, not necessarily conservative, but following tradition, following things that have been passed down from generation to generation. So there is a there is an old world charm and old world quality which a lot of Taurus people have in them. So this is you right now, Taurus, uh, in your own reading. And I feel like a lot of you are going back to the way you used to be. So maybe in the middle, in between, you changed a lot of who you were. And you realize that a lot of it was to maybe please other people or because of peer pressure or because you felt like you weren't good enough, you know. But now in the month of July, I feel like a lot of you are just going back to who you are because you're focusing on the money, right? And Taurus, whenever you, you focus on your money, that's when you feel the most centered. That's when you feel the most grounded. And so it's a very stabilizing energy I'm picking up here. Now, I am seeing the high priestess and it's coming up as a reversal. Now, in the upright position, high priestess is about intuition. It's about being um, passive because you know that what's meant for you is going to come to you in divine timing. It's about being highly psychic and highly in tune with your intuition. It's about knowing the dark and light aspects of life, the shadow and light energies of life that we all possess within ourselves. Um, you know, the high priestess is also about not being uh, swayed by temptation because, you know, in the card we see um, pomegranates in the background and pomegranates can often signify temptation. Um, and, you know, the, the temptation of being swayed from your path. But the high priestess is very, uh, is so centered and so grounded within herself that temptations don't seem like temptations anymore. So that's the energy that I'm picking up here for you, Taurus. That you are 